Welcome to Chasm Workspaces. In this video, we will show you how you can get the Workspace platform up and running on a single server in minutes. The installed components include API services, a Postgres database, Redis data store, and a Workspace agent responsible for orchestrating the Docker containers. The Workspace platform system requirements are minimal. However, the actual resources that will need to be provisioned are dependent on the number of concurrent user sessions that are required. To support a single session, you must have at least two cores, 4 GB of RAM, and 50 GB of free solid-state hard drive space. Additional concurrent sessions will require increased compute and RAM resources. Visit the CHASM website for our latest documentation and to download the latest version of Workspaces. CHASM can be installed on Ubuntu 18.04 and 20.04, Debian 9 and 10, and CentOS 7 and 8. The install starts by downloading the installation package, extracting the contents, and running the installation script with sudo privileges. You will need to accept the license agreement. The installer will install Docker if it is not already installed and will download the default set of Workspaces application and desktop images. Please note that it will take several minutes for the downloads and installation to complete. If your system does not have a swap file or partition, you will get a warning. Press Y and the Enter button to continue past the warning. Once completed, the installer will output the platform credentials. You must ensure that you save these credentials because you will need them to get access to the system. Since our system didn't have a swap file, we will need to create one. In this case, we will make it 2 gigabytes in size. Now that the installation is complete, navigate to the IP address of the server that Chasm was installed on. By default, you will get a security warning that the site is not trusted. This is because the installation generates a self-signed SSL cert. To ensure users do not get the security warning, you will need to get a cert signed by a public certificate authority. See our video on obtaining valid certificates using Let's Encrypt for more details. Log in as admin at chasm.local. The credentials were provided at the end of the installation. Once logged in as an administrator, you will have access to the administration panel in addition to the user panel. From the administrator panel, you have the ability to add users, add groups, and group settings, configure authentication providers such as LDAP or SAML, view activity, monitor resources, and more. See our other videos and documentation for more details on managing the Workspaces environment. Now that Workspaces is installed and configured, we can create our first session. The App Launcher has many applications to choose from, but let's start with a desktop session. When you first launch a session, you will be presented with a pop-up notification with instructions on accessing the control panel. Once in the session, you will notice that the control panel is accessible from the tab on the center left of the screen. The control panel provides the ability to upload and download files between your local system and the remote desktop, enable the microphone, set video quality, and use the clipboard. If you are using a Chromium-based browser, your clipboard will work seamlessly between your local system and the remote system once you have given the browser this permission. This default desktop image has common software installed, such as Chrome, Firefox, OnlyOffice, and Visual Studio Code, to mention a few. Clicking the Apps icon will bring you back to the Workspace App Launcher page. From here, you can view your currently running sessions and create new ones. Destroying the session destroys all data, unless you have configured persistent profiles, which is covered in another video. Within a user's profile settings, you can configure preferences, view session usage, and set SSH keys or download the public SSH key. SSH key management is useful when using Chasm as a secure Bastion host. Thank you for joining us for this Workspaces training video. Visit the Chasm webpage for additional videos and detailed documentation.